Since 2009, the griffin has made the subject of scientific investigation and analysis. The metal, interior and holes in the griffin and lion have been closely examined using metallurgical analysis, endoscopy and ballistic analysis to throw light on how these bronzes were constructed and decorated. 3D scanning has continued the study of the Pisa griffin and early results have been interesting. Scientific investigation is very important for the study of such objects. For example, it has shown that the bronze was cast in different pieces, an enormously important find for the history of casting. Um, 3D scans have been very helpful in a number of ways, including mapping the structural defects at the time of the fusion of the bronze and marks of the different tools for the decoration. Combined with raking light photography and moulds in, in uh, silicon rubber, this should help understanding better the decorative techniques. For example, we should be able to identify different hands from different craftsmen, as well as draw some conclusion about workshop practices. For the technologists too, the project has been a learning experience. The Griffin's digitization has proved to be a very demanding process. The incisions on the bronze surface are hard to sample with 3D scanning devices because they are very thin and in some cases filled by a thick varnish. The Griffin is also a complex subject for digital visualization since specific modes are needed to enhance the rendering of the incisions. Finally, the Griffin turned out to be an ideal test case for the adoption of new hybrid visualization modality that integrates photographs and 3D rendering. The success of the project means the happy partnership between cultural heritage and 3D technology will continue in the future. Two more bronze sculptures, the Marichai Lion and a Falcon, are also set to be modelled and analysed in 3D. The final res result should be a major contribution on the understanding of the griffin, not only as an object produced in an Islamic context somewhere in the Mediterranean, but also because of the history of its transformation once in Western hands. It should further our knowledge about the meanings and, and functions of this object, this extraordinary symbol of the dynamic relationships between East and West, between different religious, cultural and artistic areas of the Mediterranean.